Hi, I'm Christina, Ashley Regional Medical Center's chest pain coordinator. Did you know that Ashley Regional is an accredited chest pain center through the American College of Cardiology? Today we're going to talk about early heart attack care or EHAC and hands-only CPR to help you save a life. The heart continuously pumps oxygen-rich blood and other nutrients throughout our bodies and requires oxygen itself to perform its functions. A heart attack occurs when blood flow is restricted or suddenly blocked involving one or more of the three major blood vessels to the heart, often because of a blood clot, plaque buildup, or an arrhythmia. Time is muscle. Without oxygen-rich blood flow, the heart muscle will become damaged and can lead to death. Cardiac disease is the number one cause of death to adults in the United States. Each year, around 800,000 people suffer a heart attack, and three-fourths of these are first-time heart attacks. This means that every 40 seconds, someone in the U.S. experiences a heart attack. There are factors that increase your risk of having a heart attack. Some are out of your control, including genetics, age, and family history. Other risk factors can be prevented, including high cholesterol, obesity, high blood pressure, diabetes, high stress, and tobacco use. Visit our website, ashleyregional.com, and take the Heart Health Assessment Quiz, located under Services, then Cardiac Rehabilitation, to see what your risk level is. Heart attacks have beginnings. Symptoms of heart attack may be immediate and intense. More often, symptoms start slowly and persist for hours, days, or weeks before a heart attack. Typical symptoms may include chest pain, pressure, aching, burning, tightness, or di discomfort. Some experience numbness or pain that radiates down their arm or jaw. Atypical symptoms more often occur in women, diabetics, and the elderly. These can include weakness, sweating, dizziness, shortness of breath, nausea or abdominal pain. 50% of people may be unaware or do not act on these early warning signs. It is common for those experiencing heart attack symptoms to be in denial. If you see anyone or personally experience similar symptoms, call 911 and seek emergency medical care immediately. Please visit deputyheartattack.acc.org to access further EHAC information, take the quiz, and pledge to save a life. Hands-only CPR has shown to be effective as conventional CPR and only has two steps. Number one, if you see a person collapse or become unresponsive, call 911. Number two, perform chest compressions until help arrives. Jake, a paramedic from Gold Cross, will now demonstrate this. Place the heel of your hand in the center of their chest. Interlace your fingers. Keep your arms straight with your shoulders over your hands. Push hard and fast to the beat of a familiar song like Staying Alive that has 100 to 120 beats per minute. Compress the chest at least two inches and allow the chest to rise completely before pushing down again. For infants and children, CPR with compressions and rescue breaths is recommended, including victims of drowning, overdose, and breathing problems. To take a local CPR or first aid class, call Gold Cross Ambulance at 435 789-6907. Thank you for watching and helping save a life.